Um, hi, my name is Hugh Alton. I'm a professor in the Department of Ancient History and Classics at Trent University. Um, I, I do quite a lot of things at the university in terms of research and in terms of teaching. One of the things that people often say is like, well, what do you do? Um, so I say, I do Roman history and archaeology. Oh, that's great, everyone says. I want to be an archaeologist. And they, they really like that. Um, I like that. They say it's a good job for parties. But it's not just a good job for parties. It's a job that um, it's what really helps us attempt to understand what it means to be a human being and how we relate to one another. Oh, yes, people say, well, how does that work? Um, and well, what does it actually mean? How do you connect the Romans to us? And the way that I like to do that is to go out into the field, so to leave Canada and go into the field. And my area is, of expertise is in uh, Roman Turkey. So go there and then to visit the countryside and try to understand um, this focus and try to understand what it means to be um, part of the Roman Empire. So what the impact is on daily life um, in terms of going to church, paying taxes, serving in the army and how these areas are connected to the imperial centre in ancient Constantinople, that's modern Istanbul. And I don't do this on my own. When I go, I go with students. So I've been able to take in recent years students to this area um, of, of central Turkey, um, about three hours away from the capital, Ankara, um, and take undergraduate students from Trent um, to work as part of the research team. So there's, there are two things that happen there. I, mean, I do an awful lot of taxi driving, account sort of management, uh, telephone calls, medical stuff, um, working with local government. But my job is to actually to make sure that the research happens. And the research is actually conducted by uh, the, the team members. And that's where the undergraduates are, are critical because they're the people actually walking around in the fields, collecting the data, taking the photographs, filling the forms out. Um, my job is to help them collect all of that data and then we come back um, and sort of together we can actually work on the analysis um, of this and this is really exciting um, for me because it means I get a chance um, to get to know the students and the students get a chance to, to get to know me and uh, once we're done with the day, and the days are long Usually we start in the field at 6, um, work until 12, um, a long lunch break, and then sort of 2, 3 o'clock we start again and work through to 6. But after 6, then it's sort of time to sit out on the porch, um, have a cold drink, and talk to the students and play cards and chat, what's your favourite band, talk about things people like to do, where are you from. And that's really exciting, and that pays off later. And that I get a chance to, I really know the students, when I have to get asked to write references for them, I really know them as people and I have a good sense of how they would work in a work situation. And I can bring that into sort of the references. So I like getting to know the students. I think they like getting to know me because they suddenly realise that sort of professors are people as well and they're interested in doing other things other than just work. So that's sort of. Um, one thing. And then the other thing is that the students also um, get to meet people from a different culture. And um, the majority of students we take out don't know any Turkish when they start, but they have a chance to get to know some Turkish and to, to meet people from a completely different culture and realise that all people are just people. And everyone is very curious. Where are you from? Why are you here? Um, and then they start talking a little bit about sport or about music or about Coca-Cola or something like that. And there are these little bonding moments there. And that's really exciting. And then you also discover that other students um, like to travel afterwards. And sometimes they say, well, I mean, how does this work? You know, I, I don't want to do it on my own. I go, you'll meet someone someone else on the team you'll become a friend with, someone from a different university, um, and you'll travel together. And this happens all the time. So they sort of get a lot of self-confidence and they start travelling around Turkey on their own. And then you come back here, and what's really exciting is that so the students then donut and they become these little groups, and there's all the groups sort of like heroes of the people that we all work together in Ankara. And uh, three or four years after the field work is finished, I'm still seeing those undergraduates. We still go out and sort of meet and socialise, and that's really an exciting thing to do. So I think it's all the the international side is very much part of what I do. That sort of I work in the classroom, I work in the office, I work with the students, and we sort of like try and connect what we do at Trent to the world abroad. Um, but it's not just me. Um, it's me working as part of a team. Um, you know, my job is to drive the taxis, answer the phone, do the accounts. The students do the real work, and that's a really exciting thing for me.